warning, warning, two idiots have read the SCP files over the fucking intercoms. Hello. Welcome back to us discovering SCP. Usually we would discover SCP here, but this time it's a little bit different. This time we're here to pass fucking judgment. I'm so pissed off right now that someone had the audacity oh, to no. sneak Calm into yourself. our stage! It's okay. I'm angry too, but you must talk He about wasn't that. invited! Do you have anything to say in your defense, JT? Well... I may not have I may not have much to say, but your bee heart, which is in my pants, might <laughs> Guilty! Fraud! Goat status revoked! <laughs> I have two of those school. <laughs> you have oh, a second shit. heart? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it's like a smaller one and it's blue. It's more dead, so it's so powerful. <laughs> it's your little heart that's in your that's like in your spleen. <laughs> Exactly, he can move around to avoid attacks. <laughs> oh lordy, welcome back guys. Today we have JT as our special guest. JT, why don't you tell the people about yourselves for the ones who aren't terminally online on our community? Oh shit, hey. Uh, well, hello everyone. Uh, uh, my name is JT Casey on the wiki. Uh, otherwise known as JT or JT. JT is fine or whatever. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, so you, you want me to, like go all the way back, like when I started writing. You, know, you go just like when I started week, when I started you like um, do discovering until CP. Your little heart is satisfied. All right. Hell okay, yeah! Well, I'm doing you, okay? Hell yeah! Just uh, start at the beginning so, when you were born, and that'll be the whole episode. This whole podcast. <laughs> this is this is all so, being to give you a platform. So so it all it all started when uh when my when my uh, my great grandfather was born in like uh fuck fuck I don't know what my family history. <laughs> You already failed. Anyway, it's I've your f- backstory. <laughs> You're supposed to come to the Fuck. session with your backstory ready. Is your grandpa lo- here, or are you here? I, Break free from your blood. I lost my fucking grimoires, man. What the fuck can I do? Grimoires. Are you Anyways, <laughs> you know, my family. You, you don't have your own family grimoire. No, I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> I remember I, I remember I remember someone did an equivalent thing to me when I was in school. I had this friend. He lives in America, but his dad was British and he was like really into England and Britain and his family crest. And he's like, oh, your family Still doesn't have a crest. And that was like the one time where I was not jealous about something like that. I was like, wow, I don't have a noble English family. Cre- Who fucking cares, dude? You live in Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> when will that be relevant? <laughs> he used to be in like he used to be a fucking like the fucking duke of um yeah like, he'd talk what, about how his like ten. family if you go way back was like a some minor duchy or whatever i was like no one cares ever <laughs> well, well i mean it kind of it kind of makes it sad that like, they might end up in fucking like a small yeah. town Missouri. it's like that dude in fucking in disco elysium who's like i remember when i was in the war we had dreams <laughs> except he lives in the middle of a fucking shithole um is <laughs> not yeah, yeah. revishal's awesome <laughs> shout out, shout out Revishal. Would you rather live in Revishal or where you live right now, Tan? Choose. Uh, yeah. Wow, this guy hates Revishal. <laughs> have you even played Disco Elysium? I have, but isn't it like a failed state? I mean, so is your country, but... Yeah, well, my, <laughs> it, it, I'm, I'm personally enjoying a level of comfort. <laughs> as long like, as you're on top, baby. Stay exactly. Well, well, you, have not, you, have, you don't have to be where it's bad. You said if I'm where I'd rather live. You'll, you'll be the first one torn down when the riots come. No. This is all, this is all the foreshadowing for the article I have. I am the cockroach okay. of existence. Why don't you tell us about your... How many articles in general do we have today, Tan? Uh, well, I believe we have the, the, the one today. All right, why don't you tell me about the one, JT? Uh, the one? All right, uh, fuck. Did, did, did we have to, like, cover me first? We kind of forgot about that. <laughs> well, oh, sorry. You got distracted talking about your grandpa or something. All right, go, 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 yeah, go, yeah. go, go, go. Okay, okay, uh, um, I'll start. Um, uh, okay, so back in around in 2018, I, I kind of figured out what the SV community was. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, it was pretty cool. I, I saw the Vulcan on YouTube. I, this, this seems pretty fun. Shout out to the Volgan, cool, just a little channel we like here. We like to support other smaller. You remember when the Volgan said that your mic was shit? 
I think that's the funniest <laughs> memory. So I didn't know who the Vulgan was when we first started, right, JT? Oh, yeah. And, he, and oh, like yeah. we were doing some random stream and he popped in and I it was like, who is this? Because he had a check mark and the only thing he said was like, my mic was shit and then he left. And that's the only time I've been thought Alice ever interacted with the Vulgan. Yeah, which is awesome. You message just me on Discord. We're friends on Discord. You should tell him to come that's on so sometime fun. then, Chai Boy. Um, yeah. I don't have Vulgan connects. Anyway, not relevant. Fuck. JT, do it. <laughs> Say your goddamn backstory. <laughs> this is just how so, it is. I mean, you, yeah. you have to fight for your fucking right. Dude, you listen, I, I, I've, I've been watching this. Okay, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> we'll never. So after, it's so over. <laughs> anyway, um, discovered the wiki and then discovered discovering SCP. So after I read 5,000, I saw, hey, who's this I'm guy on Twitter? It went all downhill from the... Yeah. Yeah. No. Listen. And I saw on his Twitter handle he had a YouTube channel. I'm like, what? What the fuck is this? I was a pod- oh famous author Tanner. He has a podcast. No fucking way. That was in like uh, I'd say like 2019, 2020. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I watched the podcast. I read. The- I watched every episode, uh, except for the shitty um, ha- except for the, the first shitty Halloween episode where like Darnell's mic was fucked. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not that big of a discovering head. I'm sorry, no, guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was a pretty bad episode. <laughs> I was mad, too, because I still think that was one of our funniest episodes, but the fucking mic ruined it. I'm so mad. I'll never find out. Yeah. I'll never find out. I'm that happened with the games. Yu-Gi-Oh! We did Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays, too, and those were also yeah. very funny, but the mics were fucked. And they yeah. won that match. All our best yeah. content has our worst audio quality. That's our curse. Oh, uh, yeah. Except it's not, uh, you, guys, you guys had some fun bits. Like the, I, remember, I remember the chimpanzee war. As, anyway, so the Dalmatian Panzi War is unrivaled. <laughs> it is unrivaled. <laughs> that was just real life, though. It was. <laughs> I mean, like completely <laughs> derailed. What I don't even remember what the fuck we were talking about. That what we were yeah. meant to be talking or, about. Or do you remember the time we were reading an article and we just stopped to read about some CNN article about like exorcists or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, like we just talk about everyday everyday things all the time, but they just spin in funny ways. It's like it's a talent. Oh, JT, I'm gonna uh, pick you yeah. up and spin you around. <laughs> I know. I know well, now, I'm, though, from your humble beginnings, you become quite the SCP head. Because I remember specifically on Twitter, you said something like, uh, "You were sick, and your first concern was not being able to post for 8K." And I was like, "Your brain is broken." <laughs> <laughs> it's too it's genuine. Genuine. Yeah. yeah, no, like, uh, yeah, during the 8K process, I, I think I got a flu. As I and my first thought was, "Fuck, am I gonna have to submit a write for 8K?" Because I was on the stress time. But we're not talking. AK. Fun fact, the, the only story. reason JT didn't win 8K is because of the flu. There's an alternate timeline where he didn't get sick. <laughs> exactly. It's like yeah, an anime fight where it's like, well, he didn't really lose. He was wounded before. And he didn't have yeah. a time. And JT's yeah, like, no, he, he, no, he, it's my fault for getting sick. He had plague. He had plague. Nine can't come for your fucking ass. <laughs> 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 I, I, I'm, I, I, no, play, play is awesome. He actually shouted out my, my article and like, and, I, and I, like, sim, um, like, sim create. It's, it was awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Plague's, yeah, Plague's yeah. A, Plague seems like a good guy. I, I would he's definitively a, say he's a good guy, but I feel like I've only talked to him like once ever. So, I, I you know, I'm surprised you had, yeah. yeah. I'm surprised you've had, have you had me on before him? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, hmm, hmm. You're easier mm. to contact. Uh, I'll say. <laughs> well, great. Now that, I almost edit this whole section out. <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes my brain volume. moves faster than than my no, my mouth moves faster than my brain, and then it comes out suspiciously. But I don't intend it that way. <laughs> you know anyway. what, anomalous? Uh, these guys abuse you too much. Give yourself an ice cream. <laughs> Actually, agreed. Anyways, <laughs> if we don't start, we're not going to finish your article because I remember you saying it was long. It's it's like. 5,000, it's not that long. 6140 J? Yeah, okay, but uh, a little words, back. It's like two eighth row space chapters. Jesus, okay. One last thing before I, before I continue. It's like, so the reason why I started writing is because two years ago, uh, the it was the, the DSCP uh, Write About Fest Con, like 2020. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, yeah, what's that? Yeah, so uh, I, <laughs> well, I remember because that was my first like writing project fucking ever. Because I was so bored doing, because I was uh, doing my military service, mm-hmm. and I had nothing better to do. And after that, it was downhill from there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so gotcha. if you think about it, um, the V around here is like full circle. Because the only reason why I'm writing at all, or I have to create a rhyme process, is because the two of you. Oh, stop it! You, you no, gotta give yourself the credit. You're the one who took the first step and started writing, and that's really what matters. 
Yeah, yeah, but it feels like it feels poetic, you know. Man, I, uh, I see. You, that, yeah. you see, these are already hard enough to hear when we read them in the comments in person or over the. Yeah. Room. it's like I don't know how to. Like, I, I, ooh, well, I probably say this because yeah, I, I probably say this to like. But, <laughs> I probably say this also to, to like butter up uh, you, Tanoi, because oh, uh, no for the, if you if you, if, if you haven't read the, other, the article forward, like um, I would say, Tan, I am so sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize to him. Don't apologize to the English. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> I thought we should say that. Why don't, <laughs> don't we just say that? I will acknowledge all your sins and accept them. And no. accept you as you yeah. are. You're not Jesus. So... <laughs> well, I never said I was Jesus, but... The, who clearly, else would have the power? It's clearly some sort of connection formed in your mind when you looked at me. Oh, shut the oh. fuck up. <laughs> <off. laughs> <laughs> Holy it's, shit. It's, that, like, that, that did the opposite of kindness damage. <laughs> it is su- it, it is <laughs> it is Sunday, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's my day. Sorry, it's on <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> because, because I'm off work, you know, it's my day. So please like shut up. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> please, please shut the fuck up. I'm putting well, a needle well, for, in his head. <laughs> it's time for the. Well, lobotomy. for me, it, I should, uh, well, for me it's my for your yeah. sins. <laughs> All right. What you saying, well, for me, it's Jason? Monday. It's yeah. It is. Yeah, well, for, yeah, Very guys. Early it's Monday. Like, You're in Australia. That's why I, I am. It is it is five. It is we start at five a.m. and I woke up at four twenty. Congratulations 15. on being the first member of the SCP community to wake up at six instead of still. Jay Say is six. infinitely more dedicated to this podcast than we are. Hey, yeah. well, you, you should see all the fucking fucking like podcast like comments I made on your channel. Dude, I was such, I, at some point I wanted to make like a Jeopardy game for like the SCP, but I gave up because I. I mean, I, I we watched so many episodes. Should, I got pretty far though. You should definitely. And like, but I should, but it's like uh, I don't. I can't see if I find the document. The worst and part also, is you would I probably did... beat us at it because I barely remember anything we do. <laughs> okay, anyway, the article. Yes. Yes. Six. <laughs> okay, one, so um, this is. Jay. Yeah. So um, I'm 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 kind of sad that you guys haven't read sixty one forty like SV sixty one forty before this because it's a genuinely good article. Uh-huh. That one, SB sixty one forty is called the True Empire. It's about the Davites. It's a very cool take on it. I very much like it. And uh, and so what I decided to do um, was bastardize this amazing article. So sixty one forty is called the British Empire. Oh, okay. This is a huge day for you, Tan. Finally, <laughs> finally, some recognition. Finally, the first time the British <laughs> have a place at the table. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this is kind of the worst time kind of table if, you're, if, if, if I'm going to be honest. So this is like a hate letter to me specifically. I yeah. yeah, we hate you. Uh, <laughs> I did no, run the bike some British I, people. <laughs> I do hate the British. So I needed some sensitivity checks to the British. The gen- gen- genuinely, I had to like check. Con- content warning: If offensive. you're British, get the fuck out of my podcast. Yeah, I, um, I'm unless your name is Sobek. If you're British no. and um, actually, I, I, I people who listen to this are British and I like. Can we them, shoot so Tan in the head? I no, you can try. <laughs> see what fucking happens. You better hope it kills you in one hit. I put a bullet in your turn- brain. <laughs> oh, look at your eyes. Can be turned into an example. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what, what's that quote again, JT? I remember that from somewhere. Re- Jack Luffler, reach my neck and you'll be turned into an example. <laughs> That's right. All right, we actually have to read this, so we're not going to finish. We it. do. We do. Have to. Well, <laughs> at this point, the question of starting it. All right, go, Tan. Yeah, yeah. Red number six one four zero dash J level one unrestricted containment class ta. disruption class and media risk class critical. Hey, what's going on? Everyone is critical. I was going to say <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Epic. Joint Task Force Alpha 1773 Boston Tea Party has been established in cooperation with the following organizations. Global Occult Coalition, the Unusual Incidents Unit, the Abnormal Affairs Management 19th Bureau, which is the uh, Paranormal Enforcement Division of... Oh, sorry, yeah, actually, you, you read these, yeah, go on. The Paranormal Enforcement Division of the Ministry of National Security of the People's Republic of China. And the Free Moons Initiative. Eternal President Gerard Sebastian Young contacted the Foundation during the first official JTF meeting, offering his assistance. He claims it was within the best interest of all of humanity, both alive and dead, that SCP-6140-J is not released. 
I wonder what it is. JTF <laughs> Alpha 1773 is tasked with defending dash J-1. This includes a direct upkeep and maintenance of dash uh, of um, dash one, along with the prevention of espionage and sabotage against the containment efforts. Until containment is established or the foundation falls, MTF New Seven Hammer Down has been folded into JTF Alpha 1773 and placed into the direct oversight of 056. Foundation facilities and active areas have been evacuated and replaced with contingents of JTF Alpha 1773. In accordance with deployment plan six one four zero, I used to be ta- able to talk, you know, like a human being. Yeah, it was contingents, by the way, contingents. Well, at least I got a word out. <laughs> this podcast is you know, evil that's, that's, that's no longer guaranteed at this point <laughs> in the time of the life cycle. I, I literally <laughs> broke him, and I feel so bad about it. <laughs> I thought I thought what would happen is if I made fun of you enough, you would just stop caring. But instead, I broke you, and now you're you doing your corruption. You're like, I broke my boy. I broke him. <laughs> No, read. You can read, you know. He used to have so much confidence. Now every word he shakes, knowing that I might be there. I don't even, like, fail to say it in a normal way. I literally sound like a glitching out robot. No, I'm sorry. I really feel... I like him actually feeling really bad. Don't worry. I'm not going to make fun of you a single time. Just speak from the heart. It's okay. I'll forgive you. SCP-1614 J is the British (laughs) Empire. (laughs) I'm sorry. It was just funny because you immediately messed up the first word. I'm sorry. I'm not going to make fun of you. You're great. You just did. (laughs) It's like, why is it coded into me to be mean? He's such a good guy. (laughs) Also referred to as Great Britain by its residents. Expect to fully materialize with consensus reality on October 1st, 2022. Batch 1 is the former surgically reinforced barrier holding the SCP within its current border. Hey, you did that sound great. Good job. Hey, if you look at the current border. I- I'm going to start complimenting you so you can get your confidence back. Yeah, it's, it's kind of humiliating at this point. No, wait! <laughs> yeah, it's like a five year old. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No! That's not how I intended it. You're a great speaker and orator. The Embassy yeah. Council has preemptively declared the event a UK class end of the world scenario. <laughs> Let me ask you, was that the origin point of this article? Was that sentence? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it genuinely was. A situation in which all life on Earth is kept within the borders of the United Kingdom, rendering it uninhabitable for normal human life. <laughs> okay. Tan doesn't get to win this you- episode. Uh, yeah, he's being, he's being insulted by you and the If article, we still had insane. Hamilton doing our thumbnails, I would say it should be I you and me, like how divers like planted a flag angle. over Tan's corpse. I think it's <laughs> literally every possible angle here. No, Tan. <laughs> hey, my, 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 everyone, my the password. Sense of patriotism the password this result. week is say something nice about Tan Honey. Absolutely. Say something nice. Or I'll die. I'll actually die. Then uh, number one, threat assessment. Wait. <laughs> Now hold joint- the comments hostage for validation. <laughs> a joint working group between the Department of Analytics and the Department of Apple. Uh, I'm not saying nothing. The Department of Applied Force produced a report outlining the primary dangers associated with a modern day British Empire. I do like the phrase Department of Applied Force, it's really good. It's like the uh, group that beats you up. <laughs> We've got so many fucking departments. <laughs> it was based on information from archaeological findings. The study of English inscriptions and documents, and para statistical data models. I'm being so fucking careful now. I'm yeah. not saying anything. I, I like. I literally. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like I've actually done damage to you in a way that, like, I, I won't say anything, even if it's funnier. If I do, I'm holding back. <laughs> oh, you see, just the image. Yeah, oh, see the image over there. Um, oh yes. About the the current territory, which SCP SG is confirmed to be uh, confined to. If you look at the the bottom. There's a small red dot over there. I think it's so funny that it's like literally the borders of the UK to the point where like Southern Ireland's still safe. Yeah, and, and then like there's this the, yeah. If you see like the there's like one small point at like way way below, <laughs> I include Gibraltar because it should be there. <laughs> That's good. She's <laughs> the Grand Force. Brett. Hi. Notes. Estimated active personnel of twenty five million. Full access to modern equipment through extensive weapons manufacturing. Air Force, unknown. Modern Air Force is expected, but to what extent is unclear based on current data. 
Navy High, expected to possess a large naval force of several battleships, destroyers, and aircraft carriers due to SCP's history as a conquering seafaring nation. Outside alliances, low. No one likes them. Infrastructure, high. I'm several sorry. key. In- <laughs> you heard the pain in my voice just then. <laughs> I like you, Tan. I think you're great. I like you too. You're really great so- at reading, too. Thanks. Several key installations <laughs> in major trading and shipping routes would allow for efficient transportation of resources and manpower across continents. Hell yeah. Espionage. Severe. Prophylic's prolific spy agency already confirmed to exist within the SCP and is expected to become a greater threat when the SCP is at full power. Humanoid, humanoid modification. Medium. All humans within the SCP are born with innate knowledge and proficiency in knife combat. Holy shit. (laughs) Whether or not this is due to genetic (laughs) modification or another anomalous property of the SCP is unknown. You come out the one with a shiv. (laughs) (laughs) Nuclear weaponry. High. British control of nuclear weapons and ICBMs for delivery is a certainty. Biological weaponry. High. (laughs) Historical records show highly developed anomalous transfiguration abilities. Possibility of plant or fungus based contagion likely. See files on leaked biological weaponry projects codenamed Jellied Eels and Haggis. <laughs> Haggis at least sounds good, but Jellied Eels, yeah. You guys, Dan, I know you like it, but I'm sorry, that's gross. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apex tier pluripotent entity collusion. Now, why the fuck could I say that without issue? You're fine. You're, you're actually <laughs> good at reading, okay? I'm not going to make fun of you anymore for any misspeaks. Never. The state religion enforces worship of Margaret Thatcher, a violent divine figure. An extant version of this group, known as the Conservative Party, (laughs) has attempted to cause world-ending events on several occasions by summoning the deity. I like that one. That's funny. (laughs) Thank you. I tried to give. I tried to give like a lot of jokes with the British instead. Would you like? Would you like me to uh, to read for a little bit, Tan? Yeah, sure. So you can rest a little bit. Again, yeah. 6140-2. Emerging Threats from SCPJ. Throughout the 19th and mid-20th centuries, the number of colonies under Jash J's control has reduced dramatically. The SCP could theoretically be used to completely close into and eliminate Dash J, but despite the aforementioned measures, the area occupied by the SCP has begun to stagnate after 1953. Furthermore, the area occupied by Dash J began to increase by approximately 12 square feet per year since 1980. The cause was determined to be the immense thaumaturgical mastery displayed by the rulers of Dash J. Should this trend continue, the SCP could re-manifest at its full power with every previous colony and their resources now under the rule of Dash J once again. Furthermore, the weakening of the SCP has allowed citizens under its influence to escape its borders. As a result, many British people live among the civilian population of almost all major cities on Earth. Common features of undercover agents stemming from Dash J include a strange and incomprehensible dialect of English, poor dental hygiene and disfigured teeth, lack of slash reduced sensitivity and taste buds, aversion to correct units of measurement. (laughs) See, this one's especially good because the SCP Foundation does indeed use the metric system, if I recall correctly, as does the rest of the world. Although distinct, yeah. many of these agents are able to mask these features through acting and cosmetic surgery, making them extremely difficult to identify at first glance. These agents have been involved in countless efforts to impede the containment of Dash J, as well as the Foundation's goals as a whole. Throughout the 20th century, Dash J agents have orchestrated an unprecedented number of attacks on the world through colonization efforts, robbing historical artifacts, and introducing local civilians to bland food. Notably, the colonization efforts have forced the Foundation to expand the containment barrier to include additional land masses in order to contain the spread of the British. These include the small islands surrounding Dash J and the previously independent states of North Ireland and Gibraltar after being forcibly taken by the SCP. As a result of the continuing global threat that the SCP represents, swift action had to be taken. The Overseer Council thus formed the alliance that led to the formation of JTF Alpha 1773 and approved Operation Tuesday Water Bottle. I can't believe you didn't do 1776. So close. (laughs) Uh, Footnote. Operation name was chosen to be unpronounceable to members of (laughs) the (laughs) SCP. Hold on, Tan, can you say Operation Tuesday Water Bottle? Operation Tuesday Water Bottle. (laughs) You could put on it. You could tell. I had had to work for it. (laughs) See, see, he's he's fucking, he's he's been Americanized. You should have went, Operation Tuesday Water Bottle. (laughs) 
I had to. I had to <laughs> very consciously not say that. To be honest, it's Tuesday. <laughs> He the, cha- he the channel the fucking like cursed energy. Fucking, it's like fucking Blade Runner with the replicant test. <laughs> it's like sweat pouring down his forehead. Tuesday water bottle. So the water bottle. The, the water bottle in the desert. It's flipped over. Well, why are they not doing anything? Uh, interlinked. Interlinked. To Tuesday. Interlinked. <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday. That's how they say it when they're fucking doing the football. You say Tuesday, it's like you're not even close to fucking baseline. <laughs> Dash 3, inciting <laughs> incident. On September 8th, 2022, Operation Tuesday What a Bottle commenced with the goal of assassinating the current leader of SCP, the all knowing <clears throat> immortal Grand Apex Sorceress Queen Elizabeth II. Overwhelming- I think it was successful. Yeah. Overwhelming evidence suggests that eliminating her will cease all resistance to the shrinking of the containment barrier. The timeline of the operation is as follows. All right, JT. Do you want me to like uh, take it? Yeah, I'll take it for a little bit, but then afterwards, I think I need you to like help help with the. Yeah, we'll um, do the script all together. But if you yeah. just want to do the timeline bits, yeah, hell yeah, I'll give you a little breather. Okay, timeline events three o three, times three zero three. Strike teams arrive on the borders of SCP six one forty J by boat and proceed down River Thames until reaching London six fifteen. GTF Alpha 1773 dock under the Lambeth Bridge. 625. GTF hides all vehicles and equipment before leaving. 0800. The state mandated Tommy in extreme commences, <laughs> forcing all citizens of SP J to stay indoors. GTF strike teams use this opportunity to proceed into Buckingham Palace undetected. But he's one of those uh, Minecrafters, right? I think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing a bit of Minecraft recently. I've been playing the JJK mod. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. You could be the next Tommy in it. I could be. <laughs> if I could, too. Oh if, I, if I put some effort in, I could be a stellar Minecraft. When's the YouTuber. last time that you put some effort in? Um, it Probably years at this point, to be honest. Oh. Ten. <laughs> Ten. Maybe when I made like... 5,000, that was the last time. I don't know if I'd say I put effort into 5,000. That came pretty naturally. <laughs> Damn. You know, it's all sort of like, that one just flows out of me like a wellspring. That was it. Um, t- yeah. t- 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 would be like, if Tommy in it sicked all of his subscribers on me, that might cause you trouble. But would you <laughs> lose? Nah. <laughs> I'd win. Uh, <laughs> the strongest British of today versus the strongest British in history. <laughs> The fact that you think either of those would be either of you two is really funny. A24. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> a, a law enforcement officer spots the strike teams and approaches them and demands a license. In our case, in our use- case oh, go ahead. Sorry. In our case, he uses our runes placed on a card to permit SCP residents to perform mundane tasks for loitering the streets. Team leader, team leader Captain Amar Rikin was prepared, however, and produces a counterfeit license made by the espionage supply department. The officer notices the illegitimacy of the license, but Captain then quickly presents a counterfeit counterfeit license, bef- license before it can report the situation. No, I, I enjoy it when you make fun of the country, but I like this sort of genuine part here where it is it is just sort of like realistic. Yeah, exactly. I, it, enhances, I yeah it enhances the jokes elsewhere in the article. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'll have you, I'll, I'll um, talk about it later, but I did do a, sh- a um un, uh, like a unreasonable lot of research for this article. <laughs> It'll come into effect later. I'll, I'll tell you that. Okay. The officer accepts this and allows the fifty men undercover strike team to proceed. Eight fifty seven strike team arrives at Buckingham Palace. JTF Alpha 1773 breaches Buckingham Palace throne room, but the Queen is located. The following is a transcript of the encounter. All right, Tan on narration, and then who wants to be who? Uh, I don't know. I, I think can you be... be Queen Elizabeth II. I'll be Queen Elizabeth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can be the I can be um, the American. You want to be Captain Rickon? Oh yeah, I'm our American. <laughs> oh, Captain Rickon. Ah, and then Tan, I want to be... Oh, never mind. That's part of the narration. I thought Crown Jewels was a character. No, no, no. You'll find out very soon. 
All right. <clears throat> JTA Alpha 1773 enters the throne room with Queen Elizabeth II sitting on the throne sipping tea. Oh. And the JJK narrator, if you can't tell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, good evening, gentlemen. I was expecting you foundation folk to turn up soon. It's 9 a.m., you Anglo Saxon bitch. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> good heavens! With the weather these days, one cannot know the time without a good old grandfather clock. I'm breaking out the pop's voice for this. Fuck you. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth II and Queen Elizabeth II looks out of the palace window and smiles. JTAF Alpha 1773 begins to ready their weapons and aim them at the Queen. Whatever. We have a mission to complete. Men! All members of the strike team armed with rifles, high explosive ballistic weapons, and arcane wizardry prepare their weapons. Oh me, oh my. Settle down, settle down. No need to get ahead of ourselves. Ready. I could have someone get food, or perhaps biscuits. It is right around tea time, after all. Aim. Ah, tea and crumpets it is. Fire. All agents fire upon the queen for six seconds before pausing. The f- smoke and debris take several moments to dissipate before revealing an empty, albeit destroyed, ornate throne. Panic quickly sets in among the soldiers as they look for their missing targets. Queen Elizabeth II instantly ma- re- rematerializes behind Captain Regan. Just as quickly as she reappears. Oh, can I give the attack said, names when they come up? <laughs> <laughs> she said, Captain Regan, <laughs> flying into the nearest wall of a spinning back mist. His men waste no time responding to the threat and fire. There was no hesitation found within the hearts of these soldiers, only pure instinct hammered into them through rigorous training. The muzzle flashes from the gunfire lit up the room like a second sunrise, and shrapnel threw around the throne room like a swarm of insects. All of this was useless, however, as the Queen stood calmly in the midst of all the violence, within a barrier she deployed. Little teapot, short and stout! She called this ability, allowing her to defend herself from almost any physical attack at the cost of her full concentration. Is this literally hollow wicked it basket? Is, like, it, is, it, is, it is truly a divine feat. <laughs> This cost came pretty cheap at this moment as she waited for the sweet sound of an empty magazine. <laughs> there it is. As the porcelain coloured barrier fades, a large British flag manifests between the Queen's back, almost blinding in its red, white, and blue radiance. The fucking wonder is <laughs> she shouts as eight red and white tendrils shoot out in the eight cardinal and ordinal directions, piercing anything they came into contact with. It is truly a divine feat. No. The trail of agents, they were unfortunate enough to be in the way, collapse to the floor. As the JTF begins to recuperate, the queen levitates, eyes flickering red, white, and blue. She begins to speak. You bellends! You bloody pillocks! Fucking wankers, all you! Come to my ends, in it, Trying to be rude to England, yeah? Pisshole, all you fucking Yankees! Fuck out me bloody palace! Before I smack you to kingdom- Oh, well, there goes our monetization. <laughs> Before I smack you cunts to kingdom come. Well, he said it's one, well, he could have got away with one, three, seven. You twice. cannot get away with it once. And I must, can you <laughs> bleep, like lean into it? And I must bleep well, out the so that we can monetize the video. Thank you. Not, not the one you just said, though. <laughs> no, bleep, bleep that one out. <laughs> <laughs> bleep one, not the other one. <laughs> Despite the threats, JTF Alpha 1773 remains steadfast and readjusts their aim. The troopers fire their matadors, sending explosive bombardment towards the elderly woman. She acknowledges that these toys were somewhat of a threat. Quickly teleports out the way to prepare her next attack. Crown jewels. Dozens of precious stones were thrown into the air, disconnecting themselves from the crown, almost floating in suspense for a second before launching themselves to their intended targets. The sure hit effect. That's like annihilation filled the room with <laughs> hundreds of magic gemstones pierced through the bodies of the soldiers over and over. It's so you could see the back of their skull through what was left of their eye sockets. Needless to say, not many survived this attack, and many would die on English soil very soon because of it. The various gemstones line up and take their place back on the crown, spotless. The queen looks around at her latest work and sighs. 
She turns to sit back down on her throne before noticing the lone man standing above his fallen comrades, slowly regaining consciousness. Captain Reacon throws a haymaker at the Queen of England. Naturally, she catches it before it can make contact. Oh, jolly good show, you pissy You're fucking mad with it, I'll give you that. Reacon grins in a sign of both relief and mockery. Save it, you two super dog. I can tell you right now, she was just from the slight tremble in your hand. You may be strong, but you can't fire at full power without present, prevent, without while preventing the conceptual idea of Britain being erased. Plus, you get an old lady. Mans thinks he's fucking cheeky, innit? You's got bare jokes here, blood. Now come on, I'll give you these hands then. Tinrican had no idea what she just said, but the battlefield spoke for itself. The queen tossed his fist away and stepped back. She folds back her sleeves to prepare for hand-to-hand combat, revealing the words tea tattooed onto her left fist and crumpets tattooed onto the right. How does she even fit crumpets? She just has that many fingers. That's how strong she is. She's, she's, at, she's, at, she's at horrible. She has 20 fingers like Sakuna, but it's 10 on each hand. <laughs> oh, five, six. How strong am I in terms of the queen's fingers? <laughs> I'd say you're worth maybe eight, optimistically. Reacon tightens his stance to prepare for the incoming assault, and the Queen responds. Tesco meal deal. You're a sick fuck for making me be the writer here. <laughs> Do you want me to take over? <laughs> you got me be, yeah. It was as if all light surrounding the Queen was sucked into her body, condensing into her material form. After converting her magical energy into physical energy, she pounces forward toward the lone soldier with incredible speed. Reacon raises his arms to defend himself from the flying punch. It is just an anime fight at this point. But it never came. Yeah. The Queen suddenly planted her left foot into the wooden floorboards mid-leap, halting her movement and transferring this momentum into her right foot to deliver a crescent kick aimed divinely at his head. Divine axe! Regan dropped to the ground just in time as he felt the air pressure from that blur of a leg zip past his face. He got up to counterattack with a rising uppercut and squares the Queen of England straight in the jaw. The first bit of damage she'd taken thus far. Captain George Washington had almost completed his regeneration. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Regan just became one of the few people in the world to punch a member of the royal family, but the Queen wasn't going to let him live to tell the tale. She returned the gesture with ten more punches straight into Regan's upper body as he tried to follow up his last hit. He blocked the stray fist here and there, but the damage was becoming overwhelming. Regan needed a way out! For a few precious seconds, the assault on Regan's body ceased so the Queen could put her back into the next attack. Regan did not waste this opportunity as he prepared himself. The Queen assumed a proper stance, steadied her body, and reeled her fist back. You could almost get sentimental about the human muscular system with this display of power. That's a sentence Tan would write in fucking Aether Hole's face. <laughs> <laughs> the muscles in her like, kind of like, With his electric powers, he looked at the Queen's body and saw perfection. <laughs> <laughs> the nervous system this is kind of, it's yeah. in perfect coordination. This is essentially either battle. <laughs> the muscles in her legs, <laughs> arms, so. hip, and back interlocked in one fluid motion. Tight. Oh god, she's doing a Zeus. Tightening and focusing the kinetic energy within them into a forward strike powerful enough to break a man in half. The punch, a real punch, was released as a devastating right cross. But unlike last time, Rikan had no intention of dodging this blow. He braced himself and caught the punch, using his enemy's own momentum against her and throwing her over his shoulder. She is slammed down onto the floor with a crack coming from the floorboards. The queen was stunned that someone would dare bring her to the ground like this, but didn't have time to indulge in the rage she felt as Regan threw a stun grenade directly at her face. As British people have never encountered direct sunlight, this was particularly disastrous to her eyes. She screamed several colonial era racial slurs as her <laughs> that got me. <laughs> As her eyeballs slowly regenerate and she desperately but blindly looks around to find her assailant. By the time she regained the use of her eyes, it was already too late. Captain Amer Recon had already picked up one of the matadors from his dead comrade and loaded it with the H-E-A-M, High Explosive Anti-Monarchy, warhead. All he had to do was pull the trigger. Regan's life flashed before him. He remembered his parents who were tortured and killed by British people when he was but a child. He found them dead, stabbed to death with a great sausage roll. <laughs> what even is that? It's a bakery. Regan's body yeah. was in pain and it screamed, but his spirit screamed louder and it screamed, go! God bless him. Oh, sorry, God. I got into it. <laughs> it's Actually, you know, you know, you go, you're the American. Go. You sure? Go. Yeah, yeah. God bless America. Bitch. Anomalous, can you add it in like an eagle screech right there? Thank you. Yeah, you have like, like, like if an eagle flying across the screen, you can manage that. 
He pulls the trigger, delivering almost six pounds of explosive payload straight into the Queen of England. She did not have time to react as the projectile makes a direct impact, sending the Queen flying to the opposite side of the room, crashing through the throne in the process. As the H-E-A-M explosive burns her physical form and the conceptual idea of a monarch within her, she weakens and the barrier surrounding the UK begins to close. Regan lay down on the floor, tired and dying. The internal damage from being flung into the wall and being pummeled was too much for the mere human to handle. He could feel his vision fading, his lungs giving way, and the strength leaving his body. He lay there, content with what he had accomplished, his impending demise only an inconvenience. But as long as the world could wake up and never need to see beans on toast ever again, that was enough. <laughs> if only life were that simple. <laughs> 0912, Queen Elizabeth II is defeated. 0913, her lower body is seen disintegrating due to the here warhead. She appears extremely distressed and attempts to cast healing incantations on herself. Dash 1 is noted to move 12 feet inland simultaneously. No, the borders! No! 915, she loudly vocalized and reportedly transmitted the following to all citizens of the SCP within and outside its borders telepathically. People of Great Britain, this is the last of my hammer and take it! <laughs> it's actually, you know, uh, in that um, series that Jack likes. <laughs> yeah. And this actually happens. Wait, really? Yeah, the Queen, Wait. like, gives power to all the people in the UK. Oh, in Metal That's Gear? incredible. No, in, um, you know, what known as Avatar is from. What? Oh, uh, <laughs> Certain Magical Index? Yeah, that just happens. Why, why didn't you just say the name? I was so confused. <laughs> oh, fuck you, I can't believe I was beat to the fucking punch of this joke. <laughs> it wasn't a joke, though. All right. <laughs> the queen begins to grow bright yellow while releasing unknown amounts of energy, heat, and Akiva radiation. Her body is observed to atomize after this action. Simultaneously, all citizens of Dash J, within and outside its borders, begin to similarly glow, as well as levitate two meters, 6.56168 feet. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's spreading. The, uh, while chanting an unknown arcane spell. Immediately after the event, <laughs> Dash One, along with all Type Blue personnel tasked with maintaining it, disintegrated the fine tea powder. <laughs> this caused the containment failure of the SCP. With no possible method of re-establishing containment before the imminent UK class end of the world scenario. American died for nothing. Yeah. Addendum Dash <laughs> Three Foundation Briefing. The following bulletin was sent to all Foundation personnel to brief them on the impending expansion of Dash J to consume baseline reality. From 051 to all staff, to all members of the Foundation, in three weeks' time there will be a UK-class scenario of unprecedented magnitude. On September 8th, 2022, we killed Queen Elizabeth II, which caused the United Kingdom to breach containment and manifest in present consensus reality. The prevailing theory suggests that Dash J will fully manifest at its peak strength with all the conquered states regained before Foundation interference. All existing exploratory research projects are suspended. All non-essential containment work is suspended. Sites have been assigned specific tasks to protect as much of humanity as possible. Expect a bulletin detailing your new priorities. On October 1st, 2022, all essential personnel will be moved to reality-anchored sites to provide immunity to the UK-class scenario. Engineering teams have been hard at work in manufacturing additional reality anchors to preserve as many Foundation personnel as possible. However, it seems that other groups of interest have had similar ideas. The components for said anchors have become extremely scarce as members of the wider anomalous world are trying to protect themselves from the inevitable remanifestation of Britain. Personally, I had the bludgeon and MC and D employed Silverback Gorilla with a golf club to fix the reality anchor in my office. We will survive the reappearance of the British Empire. Regardless of what happens on October 4th, 2022, normalcy will be protected. The consensus will be maintained. We will not be eating beans on fucking toast for breakfast. From the desk of 05-1. Secure. Contain. Protect. The Alert. breach has begun. The breach has begun. And if you click it... No. No. Oh, there's still more. <laughs> That's not too long, though. There's a bit of script, though. Um, yeah. I have a number. Oh, it's the bloody foundation. Don't look up. Because <laughs> 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 Lindmo is literally the woman of Oak, yeah, for them. <laughs> Looking up at the top of the page. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get rid of the SCP, shall we? Oh, he's putting on his British accent now. O item number 6140 dash J. That's not even British. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like Australian. That's how I know you're a fake British person, because you don't have a real British accent. <laughs> 
<laughs> Containment class Keta. Secondary class Apollyump. Disruption class five Amida. Risk class five five critical. Five critical. That's how you should say it. If you want to special concern with yeah. leaders. Remain in foundation personnel aware of the true nature of the SCP and not to interact with any individual who is unprotected during the prior reality restructuring event. Information regarding the SCP is classified level one and available for research. Description. SCP J is a monarchical society that's claimed sovereign control over a large proportion of the Earth's landmass. This was due to the failing containment result in a UK class scenario on the 4th of October 2022. Previously, the anomalous force manifesting as the British Empire was suppressed by the SCP Foundation through the use of Dash 1. The current ruling monarch of the SCP used extremely advanced formaturgy to mitigate these efforts to prevent full containment. The operation to eliminate said monarch was successful, however the death of the Queen resulted in temporary mass apotheosis in all British people. It's presumed that all of them aimed to return the British Empire to the height of its power. Oh, this assumption it's, was incorrect, see addendum dash J2. As stated in the inherited will of their Queen. Most Foundation installations of personnel were reality anchored in preparation for this event and thus were unaffected. As a result, the internal consensus of the Foundation is now at odds with greater consensus reality. The discrepancies between reality have yet to be fully reconciled. The Foundation is currently working towards briefing personnel on the inaccuracies. Addendum 1. Historical Comparisons The following table outlines inaccuracies regarding Dash J and the truth as it was presented after it fully manifested. How about you do previous Sorry. realities and I'll do consensus realities? I, I, sure. I can help you. I, I oh, can help you. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Wanna... Do you want to do the new consensus realities then, JT? Uh, I can do the previous ones. Okay, sure. <clears throat> 6140-J was the sole okay, oh, this is the previous reality. 6140-J was the sole user of an incorrect system of measurement in order to confuse foundation staff and prevent use efforts to decipher equipment blueprints. The metric system was created to confuse non-anomalous humans and was used as a legitimate unit of measurement in many countries outside of North America. All foundation staff previously using this system is to be uh, R, I assume R, are to be considered a defector and executed immediately. I'm so cooked. The yeah. United Kingdom voted to leave the European Union in order to consolidate its power and prepare for I was the asked if dinner process. was ready. I just said JT. They <laughs> smiled. They knew it was gone. Reports <laughs> 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 were uncovered after gaining access to Dash J archives. It was revealed that the Prime Minister at the time, David Cameron, thought it sounded like a good idea. The United Kingdom had conquered and colonized foreign countries in order to form supply chains, gain access to valid materials, and to integrate the local population into the British Army. Reports were uncovered after gaining access to Dash J archives. It was revealed that Prime Minister at the time, David Cameron, thought it sounded like a good idea. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> I mean, David Cameron's immortal, can I say? Yeah. The British Empire contained an imperial cult to Mark Thatcher. Described to the modern day as the British Conservative Party, this cult focused on violent hatred of the Irish and the moral denouncement of poor people as embodied by Margaret Thatcher. Uh, this is true. <laughs> the British Empire spans most of North America, Oceania, and several states within Africa, Asia, and Europe. The British Empire would then have territorial control over the largest total landmass in the present day, remaining as the only political superpower. Uh, C-J.2. Oh, oh, foundation yes. administrator meeting. The Overseer Council was made aware of another individual claiming to be the administrator of post GSJ events. As the previous administrator was found to be uncompatible, it was assumed it was unable to find shelter in wake of the event and was consumed by the United Kingdom. It was in the Foundation's best interest to obtain new information regarding the current state of the anomalous geopolitical and economical climate of Earth after the reality restructuring event. A meeting between 051, 057 and the Administrator was conducted to facilitate this, and we can see from the picture that the Administrator is this fucking dickhead. Who is this? <laughs> Boris Johnson. <laughs> I love how you're like trying to sound more British intentionally, too. Well, I always sound like this. The following is a transcript of the meeting on 4th of October 2022. Eight days before my birthday! Wait, what? Did it? I did. Oh. I thought your <laughs> birthday was on the 15th. 12th. 12th. Do you even remember? He doesn't even remember. Okay, well, right, so I'm it's sorry, five, it's three one, days seven. off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Fake friend, OMG. All right, name my birthday right now, Tan. That's what I thought. Well, you have a lot. Date 2022 <laughs> slash 10 slash 27. Time sixteen hundred. Again, log. Uh, what lumberjacks say when they're about to start chopping? <laughs> nice. 
as per the administrator's request, the meeting took place in the site 09. Uh, the site in which the Overseer Council had taken shelter during the UK class scenario. Cafeteria. The site cafeteria is not properly shielded from the SCP and now appears similar to a British pub. It now smells of stale beer and rancid frying oil. Whether this was an attempt at psychological warfare by the administrator is unknown. The administrator is eating a double portion of bangers and mash, along with three cans of Diet Coca-Cola. 057 was about to comment on the spell before she and 051 are noticed by the administrator. Alright, Tan, do you want to be the administrator since you sound the closest yeah. to him? Okay, so, <laughs> I, I'm not joking, don't fucking say that about me. You're British! <laughs> You're the closest I'm, to Boris Johnson here. <laughs> I'm actually offended. Uh, Alright, do you want me to be the administrator? <laughs> I'm not a fucking southerner, first off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if it blo- if it talks like, and it walks like... What do you mean? You, you, you contradict, because moments ago you said I don't sound British at all. <laughs> I can't, you, are you actually mad? I can't tell. What do you mean? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, you wanna... even going to see us. What do I put a pleasure of seeing you on your smashing day? Uh, do you want to be seven or one, JT? I can be seven. All right. The administrator smiles. Uh, we're going to get straight to the point, administrator. I believe it's in all of our best interest if we keep this brief end. All right, let's slow down. We have, we have quite a generous time sort on our hands. I think this chummy old meeting is going to sort out some uh, misconceptions you may have. Both overseers hesitantly sit down at the booth while the administrator mm. opens another can of Diet Coca-Cola. Fine. <laughs> oh, God, that was loud. Oh, I'm so sorry. Fine. Let's start with I'm the current world as it yeah. is now. The world is probably unrecognizable. From Shall we discuss now. the world to come? Yeah. <laughs> Why, yes, I do believe that's the case. Uh, for the file that I view, the world is uh, very different from what you've been uh, accustomed to. As the uh, very, very great mission is, is, is much bigger than what you know. And, and you did all this uh, anomalously without concern that the Kanyushi took over what? Uh... Well, uh, well, I would like to clarify before you continue that the UK, yes, we were taking over countries, but you have to recognize that we have greatly increased the uh, value of their lives by, well, reshaping them into an ideal British map, which I believe is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Does that excuse uh, annexing a... Uh, there's, there's a bit more to it than that. I really have to commend the efforts of the British Army. They truly done a fantastic job. I really have to commend them for making all this possible. We've leveled up Britain. What we have done is something no other country in the world has done before. And if I were to be so humble, Britain is now a leading force on the planet to improve the, the well-being of the common man. More than six billion people on this planet were not part of uh, Britain, and millions of millions were not even European, which is something I thought needs to be addressed. <laughs> But, but how, how did you know that? Uh... Wait, 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 I'm not finished. <sighs> the administrator loudly opens another can. So, so I was just saying, we Please need... don't do it. It's really bad on the mic. <laughs> and I must please mute those. It's like it's like really bad on the mic to the viewers. Uh, I, I, as I was saying, we in the UK, we the forefront to be the gold standard for medical service, cuisine, culture, and standard of living for quite some time. At the age of 89 and 28, I did learn there were other countries that were just simply not Britain. Can you believe that? It was utterly baffling to me. And as I was quite determined as new information, we understand it's at the very least. So we took it upon ourselves to make sure the problem was swiftly and correctly. Right, so your policy is to conquer the countries who you believe to be inferior, is that correct? Well, but see, I feel as you're trying to agree on our methods, and I find that quite manipulative and disingenuous. What? No, I'm, I'm trying to... Well, I believe the problem you're facing is that all our issues could bring up are in the past, when we are simply living in the present, and we in the United Kingdom always strive to look towards the future. Okay, JT, please don't do it again, for the bit. <laughs> I, I ran out of cans, don't worry. <laughs> the administrator loudly opens another can. So I everyone in your country is happy? Well, I believe that everyone here, right here in Great Britain, is very, very, very much delighted to be a part of it. As the conqueror of their previous nation, I'm sure they're thrilled to have you as their leader, I suppose. Um, yes, I believe they quite do. Yet to do it, obviously. I have played a big role in the ship of the world days, and I would say that like, we as Britain have actually been quite the charitable one, Cheshire, I believe so. Well, color me surprised, I guess. I-, I don't suppose you're going to give any credence, are you? Of course not. The administrator stops eating. Quite the shot aimed at my overseer. But in that case, let me ask you something. Why well, did you say it like that? Well, if I once squints at the administrator. Like what? Color me surprise. Color with a U. Very curious. <laughs> 051 and 057 are both stunned. All of the patrons in the pub cease all action and turn to stare at the overseers. Don't forget, unrecognizable. 
<laughs> oh, 051 begins to breathe heavily. The overseers shift uncomfortably in their seats. Seven looks at her tablet. So. Oh, 051 looks at Boris Johnson with extreme contempt and anger. Me. <laughs> what else could I offer to my fellow countrymen? No. I beg your pardon? No, 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 that's impossible! O five one slams the table with his fist. Yeah? Oh, sorry. Side-09 is stationed in France! You fuckers never took over that country in your entire history! Even at the height of your reign, we should be outside of Britain! One, there's... The administrator has a short, loud chuckle before letting out a long sigh. <laughs> uh, outside Britain. Now that's something I haven't heard in a while. 051 jumps onto the table and grabs the administrator by his shirt collar. What the fuck does that mean? One, I need you to- Answer me, you damn Brit! One! Not now, Seven! The administrator- I would have right? expected my overseer council to be more proper than this. <laughs> I believe your colleague has your answer anyway, old chum. 051 nervously turns to 057, who's looking at her tablet. Her hands are shaking. Seven, what is it? The, they're everywhere. Oh, five, one, let's go of the administrator's shirt. What, they've conquered the Earth? Oh, five, seven, shakes her head. Seven, please, I need an answer. Just tell me what's happening. It's not, it's not just that. It's... Oh, five, seven, turns the tablet screen to oh, five, one. It's so much worse than we could ever imagine. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Bloody hell, mate. Bloody hell, mate. <laughs> other, other than one tiny grammar, that was like no notes, 13 out of 10. Thank you. Just like an is instead of an R once, so otherwise that was perfect. No notes. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. A 10. I feel like it was this, very good. this is the first time yeah, in a while you. I've read an SCP article where I wasn't like, oh, when's it going to end already? That was... It does feel like this was designed, <laughs> this was targeted towards us, to be honest. <laughs> it was very good. And all the things I, I love. It'd be very well, much you... and all the things that I love as well, which is fucking British jokes randomly turning into anime battles. <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> the that crown was... jewels. Yeah. Crown jewels. <laughs> uh... The Tesco Mew deal was my, was, my, oh, was my favorite one. Good time, good time. Well, thank you so much, Shete. That was that was a blast. Uh, do you want to stick around for the comment readings, or do you have anything you want to plug? Oh, uh, plug? Uh, not much. I mean, I guess you can check out my author page. Uh, oh, I, I, well, if you, if you do check out author page, the, the, I am I believe I'm the only author in the SC Wiki who has Aetheros Space linked on their author page. Oh, so link it, link it, warning, link it. And I love voting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> also, you didn't hear that warning warning on the mic just now, guys. I'm sorry, I was trying to get to the comments. Uh, anyway, link me your yeah. author page. This is the only author page I'm ever going to upvote. Hell yeah. I, I would I would link my Twitter, but I don't really use it for much. I just use it to like retweet art from Guilty Gear. But uh, if you want to if you want to if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's uh uh J T A Y K C. Oh, I love the little bees at the top flying around. Nice. <laughs> I think I think call this it's funny to me that your uh, author page is like so cool and Tans is like the shittiest thing I've ever seen. It's just like he set it up when he was like 15. Look at this. This is like think, so... I, oh my goodness. I think that these uh, cause some people to lag because it's just like it's so much of it. Ah, uh, skill issue. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my god. Yeah, upvoted. Alright, I'm looking for Aetheral Space though. Let's see. Oh, no, it's, so uh, if you look at... Um, JT's cool corner. I got quotes for everyone. If you look at the bottom, uh, Tan wrote it, Tan does Tan's quote, and in his quote, I hyperlinked um, uh, Ethereal Space. Nice. Hero. Hero. You've done everything right. This is the ideal even. Um, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Aw, oh, Guare. Oh, these are all our yeah. buddies. There's a lot of cool people in here. <laughs> so, Bex <Beck's> quote. <laughs> Oh man! Wait, Tan, did you say true. this? Hold on, Tan, can you say the quote so it's legal? Uh, wow, these are the best articles I've read since the top-rated page. I'm going to dream about this page. Didn't I actually say this? Yeah, yeah, I, I did. I, I think I asked you. You asked, like, me, you asked me for a quote, and I said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> dream about this well, page. The, 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 that's when I was setting. Um, when I was setting up this like page, I just asked a lot of people, including you, for like a quote. That's awesome. 
Why did I say Sorry. that? That's a deranged quote for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I mean, I, I, it seemed pretty tank it to me. Do you wanna do you wanna stay for the comment reading question mark? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay. First up, full circle. Teeth said an hour ago, uh, I had to wake this guy up at 1.30 p.m., 4.30 a.m. for the wrong side of the world to make sure he'd be here today. I, wouldn't that be 5.30 your time? Uh, n- no, because uh, because we started recording at 5 a.m. my time, so I had to wake up at like 4 or something. Oh, did daylight and, um, savings happen for you? Daylight savings did happen. We've delayed this episode so fucking long. <laughs> like, I had to wake this guy early. up at 4.30 a.m. for the wrong side to make sure he'd be here today. You're welcome, Basti Teeth. Genu- genuinely, I-, I don't think I would have been awake without Mr. Teeth to me. Shout out Teeth. Go follow him on Twitter. One day I'm going to teach the SCP wiki about alarm clocks. Have Teeth is the hero. No, no, listen. Listen, I, I-, I had I did set an alarm clock, but like uh, the Scott motto is um, be prepared. So Nice. Uh, yeah. Next from Dino Tales writes, uh, damn, it appears that Tan Horny has been unleashed. Everyone hide their mother. Question for th- no, I don't. I don't like the, I don't like this <laughs> reputation that I've developed. And it's entirely your fault for your comments. It is, last episode. It is actually. Question for the guests, whoever you are: Can your SCP survive the back rooms? Uh, I think um, Tanda. I think you, you, you're. Uh, you should answer this question. <laughs> um, with my SCPs? No, like the British Empire. Um, I feel like we would colonize it. Hell yeah! The unknown character says, Honestly, "Much like a disease." Honestly, like imagine if, imagine you walk through the, te- through the back rooms, you see, you see like a like a, like an Aldi's or a Tesco. I don't want to see the Boris Johnson encounter. <laughs> they, 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 they collapse to their knees. This sea is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> the un- back rooms. The unknown character says, "I think you'll be happy to know I started Aetheral Space. I'm up to Arc Two, and so far I'm loving it." And hi, guest. If you didn't change your mind about a guest. Hello. Thank you, Willie Groening. You're, you've earned your humanity. Willie Groening? That's his name. Oh, it says the unknown character to me. Oh. Ooh, you doxed him. What is that? Well, sorry. <laughs> he was human. <laughs> M- MT says, on this episode of DSCP, Darnell raises the first three minutes of the podcast and Tanhoney unlocks a new fetish. Overall, no. nine back shots out of ten. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Nine back shots out of ten. That's a perfect rating. New, new fetish is old news. And for a recap of last week, the sun blinked out of existence for a few minutes, cringed through the death battle podcast, but a dub is a dub, and Midoriya got a hand from his friends. Yes. I do remember that. What? Uh, when Midoriya's <laughs> arms blew up. <laughs> Arcadian Locks just says, I swear I start a new podcast and stop listening for a few weeks. And the next episode, you guys take my recommendation about the red tape cannon and read Rounder House Gold. I'm so annoyed with myself. Anyways, great episode. Love this podcast. Thank you, Arcadian Locks. Me too. I love this podcast. Thank you. I love this podcast. Shythalia says, All right, I'm grabbing the bonking hammer, presumably because you were so horny last episode, Tan, <laughs> and must be bonked. Uh, Sugarcane Soldier says, There. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one the reason darnell keeps thinking about faraday cage is because his brain is a faraday cage for his soul great episode that goes hard <laughs> yeah what the fuck that was like poetic <laughs> nicely done sugarcane soldier gay hauled mill says yay more back rooms also yay next week is with a guest and then adji siru comments for algorithm thank you adji siru you'll make it in the world to come all right well jt hell yeah it was a ball having you on. Thanks for thanks for joining us here. Any any parting remarks or last things? Uh, well, thank you, well, thank you for having. Me. It's uh, well, uh, again, it's like it's gone full circle that like I start I start as like a little shitter in the comments that uh, yeah, you're that a big shitter like, on I, the actual podcast. <laughs> yeah, I know, small shitter, big shitter. Fuck it's you. like, <laughs> yeah, uh, gotta get bigger toilet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, uh. I would say that, uh, uh, like any, all, like you guys in the comments or like anyone listening, like I guess if you're not posting on the wiki, uh, just take it from me. Like, just even if you don't have a like a smidge of fucking creative writing, just fucking try it. Uh, it's awesome. I mean, like, uh, debatably awesome, but it's fun. <laughs> it's debatably fun, but but you, you should try it anyway. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.